It's a rocky road adventure, and for some, it's turning into the road less traveled. Construction to remove train track pieces under Wabash Avenue in Terre Haute. It's already started to cause some driver headaches. But are business owners feeling the pinch? Newsstand's Rondrell Moore went to find out. How about a little drive? We're kind of hungry, so Rick's Smokehouse should do the trick. But like most drivers, getting there is a little harder now. That's because this is in our way. So we timed it to see how long it takes to detour. Obviously, this video is sped up, but the end time is not. Two minutes to get to a location that normally would have been just a left turn. It's a headache for some. I hate it because I don't know how to get to the fast food places, one person from our Facebook page says. Others can relate. But what about Rick himself? It's taken a little bit of a toll, but not a huge toll. I think uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's gonna be, we're going to have a better road out front. Um, people who want to get here have been able to find us. Not the greatest, then again, it could be worse. The same thoughts go for this barber. Yesterday was a pretty good day, but uh, today has been quite slow. Russell Neese owns AmeriCuts right next door. He hasn't been hit too hard, but he says drivers forced to take a two-minute detour isn't great for business. So they've found a way to get in if they need a haircut, but for those casual um, spur-of-the-moment type haircuts, you won't see many of those when there's an obstacle. Meanwhile, both places say the ends will justify the means, thinking a bumpy street with some rocky traffic flow will all smooth over after a while. As long as Wabash Avenue gets the makeover they say it deserves. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Rondra Moore, News 10. A Terre Haute City officials hope to have the work completed by the end of November. They say they realize the construction is an inconvenience, but they say it'll be worth it. Next week, heads up here, the heavily traveled intersection of 25th and Wabash will be closed.